with Ulabo USA. First, let me congratulate you on your purchase of your new Ulabo liquid temperature control device. Today, I'll be showing you how to install and set up your liquid temperature controller from Ulabo. Um, today, I'm helping Dr. Lori install her high tech series F25HL. But note that the procedures that we're going to be going through are the same and typical for a lot of Ulabo heating and refrigeration circulators. I'll let you hold on to that, your operating manual. Just keep that on file. So first, we want to make sure that all of the electrical cables are installed properly, no severed wires, no loose connections. So those are all right. Next, we want to make communication from our circulator head to our refrigerator portion here. So what we call an alarm cable will initiate that communication. And be careful, this has two endings. One designated circulator for the circulator, one designated cooler unit for the cooler unit. So these go in and they need to be tightened down. Now note, if you have an economy series ULABO unit, this procedure will be a little bit different. You will see here on the back of the unit that there is a marking for zero to one switch, and that will initiate your, your cooling compressor um, communication with the circulator. If you have any issues, be sure to call ULABO service. Next, we want to connect the electrical cords. So there are two cords here on this series. We want to make a connection between the circulator head and connecting it into the compressor. And then next, take the power cord on the compressor and plug it into your outlet or receptacle. Now we're ready to turn on the unit.